Fire investigators in Marin County still can't explain a... By any measure, 22-year-old Quincy Carr of Oakland was a success story. He earned his private pilot's license as a teenager, and he was just months away from becoming a licensed commercial pilot. But Carr's dreams were dashed last week when he became the victim of what police call a senseless shooting. NBC 11's Jody Hernandez has the story. He just uh, always focused his, uh, his life and his uh, personal goals on making something out of himself and being a commercial pilot. Quincy Carr's mother can't believe the son who just last week was well on his way to earning his commercial pilot's license is now in the hospital fighting for his life. It's just like a bad dream. It's like a bad dream. It's just it's so traumatic. I just, uh, I just, I just don't know what to do but pray right now. Just don't know. Police say the 22-year-old was getting his hair cut at this East Oakland barber shop last Friday when another man began harassing Carr's female friend. After telling the man to leave the woman alone, the suspect left the shop, returned with a gun, and shot Carr five times. He had one bullet to the heart, one bullet to the liver, one bullet to the uh, stomach, and one shot in each leg. This is probably one of the most senseless cases that I've ever seen. Police Sergeant James Gant says cracking this case is a priority. He wants the shooter off the street. It's like my number one priority right now because I don't want this to happen to some other people or another victim out there. Carr's mother says the shooter took aim at a young man with a bright future. Carr was featured in the newspaper when he earned his private pilot's license at age 19. And just last year, a national magazine named him one of the most promising young African-American men in the country. Now Carr's mother just prays he'll survive. This child has worked real hard, and um, he just didn't deserve this. Jody Hernandez, NBC 11 News. Quincy Carr underwent a fifth surgery this afternoon. His mother tells NBC 11 the surgery went well, but he remains in intensive care. Police are offering a $20,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the shooter. One of the Bay Area's most dangerous roads. Good evening. I'm Leslie Griffith. And I'm Dennis Richmond. Health officials tonight. Good evening, I'm Priya David in Oakland. Violence has claimed the life of yet another young man and put another one in the hospital. We'll have all the details coming up in a live report. There's late word tonight of a hit and run accident. Francisco said that a man was critically injured tonight. Side Raiders on a pace to easily surpass last year's total, but if you delve deeper than statistics, you'll find the violence is exacting a growing human toll. Case in point, there's a shooting that happened at an East Oakland barbershop last week. This victim survived, but he'll never be the same, and what frustrates his family is the trivial reason for the shooting. KTVU's Priya David is at Highland Hospital with that report. Priya? Dennis, 21-year-old Quincy Carr is resting now after his fifth surgery here at Highland Hospital. That was earlier today. One bullet is still lodged in his spine. They had voted him to be uh, one of the professional single black men under 30. And uh, he came in number four. For years, Quincy Carr had been a rising star. Outside Highland Hospital, where he'd just gone through surgery, his mother showed us today how he'd been recognized by an African-American magazine and local papers as a successful young man. He, he's a good kid. I mean, not because he's my son. It's just uh, he worked real hard to achieve his goal. He's always wanted to be a pilot. Carr started flying planes six years ago when he was only 15, working three jobs at a time. Even while at school, he'd earned his private pilot's license, his instrument rating, and was training for his commercial pilot's license. Last Friday, though, he went to get a haircut at a barber shop on 83rd and International. That's when another man insulted his girlfriend. He asked him not to be disrespectful, and at that time the person uh, said, I'm sorry, and walked out and came back uh, 15 minutes later. And I shot my son five times, shot him once in the heart, uh, once in the liver, once in the abdomen, and once in each leg. And today at 1.30 in the afternoon, more violence at 71st in Hamilton. Family members tell us 22-year-old Byron Isaac was sitting on the corner when shooters wearing black masks pulled up in a car and opened fire, killing him. I basically told him everything he know. You feel me? Us as boys, you feel me in the family, we told him everything you know. My cousin gone, you feel me? 
I got over here and I see my cousin laying down. I want to see him. I can't even see him. My cousin is gone. One family member tells us the liquor store across the street caught the shooting on surveillance tape and reluctantly handed it over to police, hesitant for fear of retaliation. Today's homicide happened in Councilman Larry Reed's district. He's not hopeful about recent efforts to curb the violence. You know, Mayor Brown came out recently with an, another plan that targeted the 100 most violent people in, in the city. Even if you take the 100 off the streets, there's another 100 or 200 of them that's going to replace them. It's just so many um, African-American men just um, just being destroyed. Their lives are being destroyed physically, mentally, and emotionally, and it's just it just has to stop somewhere. The violence is just out of hand. Today's homicide marks Oakland's 87th so far this year. Here at Highland Hospital, Quincy Carr's future is still uncertain. The bullet that's lodged in his spine means he may never walk or fly again. Live in Oakland, Priya David, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Coming up tonight, a rite of passage for Bay Area. The FBI's latest crime report is revealing some disturbing trends about violent crime in America. The report shows murders and robberies are up in most large cities. The same trend is happening right here in the Bay Area. San Francisco's 96 homicides last year was the most in a decade. This year's number may come close to that. In Richmond, more than 40 people have been killed in 2006. That's more than, uh, that's the most rather, in more than 10 years. And in Oakland, there have been more than 140 homicides. That also tops the previous 10 years. NBC 11's Jody Hernandez is live at Oakland Police Headquarters, where police and the community are reacting to the troubling report. Jody. Alan, police here say a number of factors may have contributed to the spike, including a lack of jobs and positive activities for young people here in Oakland. They also say staffing at the police department continues to be a challenge. Meantime, those who have fallen victim to crime say lives are being destroyed far too often. I got shot in the heart, the spine, the pancreas, and I shot in my, in my, in my leg twice. 22-year-old Quincy Carr knows all too well how violent the streets of Oakland can be. Carr was shot five times while getting a haircut at an Oakland barber shop last summer after words were exchanged about his girlfriend. It has caused me to be paralyzed from the waist down, um, so I have no feeling below my uh, below my waist. Carr, who earned his private pilot's license at age 19, had just passed the written test to become a commercial pilot when the shooting happened. I actually want to be an actual captain of an airline. You know, I want to be a real airline pilot. That, that, that was my dreams. After six surgeries and intense physical therapy, Carr is on the road to recovery. But he cringes each time he hears someone else in Oakland has been victimized by violence. According to an FBI crime report, Oakland's violent crime rate rose 38% in the first half of the year. Police say they're working hard to change the trend, but need the public's help. We need people to come forward and provide information on homicides, robberies, any uh, crime that they may have witnessed. Carr agrees the community and police need to tackle the problem together. And despite his injuries, he's not giving up on his dream. I'm hoping, I'm praying that I'll be able to you know, so to walk and fly and go as high as I want to go one day. Carr says it's because people came forward and worked with police that someone was arrested in his case. He says it's time for the community and police to team up to turn the crime trend around. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC 11 News. Still to come here. He can't walk, but he can fly. It's ch challenging, but yet I, I can still uh, do it, you know. I'm still flying. Up next, the story of a Bay Area man who's chasing a dream that he thought he'd lost when he was paralyzed. And this. It's now been 15 months since a 23-year-old Hayward man was paralyzed in a shooting that happened at a barber shop in Oakland. But Quincy Carr continues to take to the skies, hoping to reach his dream of one day becoming a commercial pilot. This is the man who tried to kill him will be sentenced tomorrow to at least 32 years behind bars. KTVU's John Sasaki has tonight's special report. Paralyzed people sometimes have to struggle to get in and out of their vehicles. And I'm actually gonna gonna check right right here for the uh, 
This her belt. This paralyzed young man struggles to board his airplane. I uh, lost the uh, ability to walk because of a uh, shooting that had actually happened to me. 23-year-old Quincy Carr was shot by a man he had never met. He was in a barber shop getting his hair cut to celebrate having passed part of the commercial pilot licensing. David Murphy came in and began to flirt with the girlfriend. Um, eventually, the defendant went over to Quincy and asked Quincy if he could get his girlfriend's phone number. And according to all the witnesses, Quincy politely just said, no, man, it's my girlfriend. Murphy leaves and comes back about 10 minutes later with a gun. He points it at Carr's head, chases him outside, and shoots him twice as Carr begged him not to. Then Carr tried to run away. Defendant shoots him in the back. The third shot hits his back and paralyzes him. And as he's trying to crawl away, the defendant stands over him and fires two more times. Clear prop. It's mentally uh, tough and as far as physically tough as well. It's ch challenging, but yet I, I can still do it, you know. I'm still flying, I'm still driving, I'm still going, going out with, with my, uh, my, uh, my friends, and I'm still trying my, my, uh, my, my, my best. And he's still chasing the dream he's had since he was six years old, to become a commercial pilot. Carr now has a setup that allows him to fly using just his hands. I'm actually uh, trying to trying to start up a, a non-profit, uh, God's Pilot Society, in, in order to help people in my situation learn, learn how to fly. Just a couple months after he was paralyzed, the prosecutor in the case lined up a rare treat for him, a day with the Blue Angels during Fleet Week. He's the most uplifting person you'll ever meet. I mean, he's amazing and can be very upbeat and make you realize how blessed we all are. Carr knows that he will never fly a jetliner, but he hopes that he'll still be able to fly other kinds of commercial planes, perhaps one that fights wildfires. A tough task to be sure, but Carr may have already accomplished the hardest part. At the Hayward Airport, I'm John Sasaki, KTVU Channel 2 News. A of crew. This afternoon, an Oakland man doing life in a wheelchair following a shooting last year watches as a judge gives his shooter a life prison sentence. Details coming up in a live report. Good afternoon. We begin this noontime with emotions running high inside an Oakland courtroom. A convicted gunman has learned his sentence for shooting and paralyzing a young man who had big dreams to become a commercial pilot. And despite his injuries, the victim is refusing to give up on that dream. KTV's Craig Debro joins us now with more on the outcome of the case. Good afternoon, Craig. Good afternoon, Tori. Very emotional in the courtroom today. It was time for the victims to address the man convicted of shooting and paralyzing a man from Oakland. Now, last year, a man walked into a barber shop and said he felt disrespected. He shot his gun five times at the victim. He left that victim in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. The two men had never before met. Today, it was David Murphy's turn to, turn to feel a little pain. In Department 2 at the Alameda County Courthouse, Judge Thomas Reardon sentenced him to life with parole and 25 years to life to run consecutively for the premeditated attempted murder of Quincy Carr. Murphy shot Carr when he wouldn't give Murphy Carr's girlfriend's phone number. I cannot figure out what you were doing that day that demanded so much respect that you would go get a gun and shoot an innocent, unarmed man. We don't see cases like this very often. Quincy's so dear to my heart because it was such an unusual circumstance. And as the judge said, oftentimes you understand how these things could happen with our homicides or attempted homicides. This one made no sense whatsoever. Carr had just passed his commercial pilot's test and was getting his haircut in preparation for a celebration. Murphy shot Carr five times, twice when he was on the ground. One of the bullets left Carr in a wheelchair for life. He hasn't let the horrible crime stop him from pursuing his dreams. Following the sentence hearing, Murphy's family apologized to Carr, but maintained Murphy's innocence. Carr was accepting, but not sympathetic. There's still no excuses, you know. I mean, we're all faced with, you know, um, a, a, a choice to do good and bad. And, and Unfortunately, um, he, uh, he just chose to uh, make a, a bad choice. The sentence was not fair because his attorney did not speak up for him, and I fought a case, so I know he didn't get his justice correctly, and between that dude and, and him, he knows that only God knows what really happened. 
The judge also sentenced Murphy to eight years on a second count to run concurrently on felony possession of a gun. The judge based his sentence in part on Murphy's lack of remorse and prior numerous convictions that were increasing in seriousness. Now, the judge, the, for the first time in his nine years on the bench, allowed TV cameras into the courtroom. He said he wanted Quincy's car, Quincy Carr's story to be told, and that was the reason he did this very unique and very unprecedented thing. Reporting live in Oakland, Craig Debro, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, very interesting. Thank you, Craig. An Oakland man was sentenced today to life in prison with the possibility of parole for shooting and paralyzing a young, aspiring commercial pilot. 33-year-old David Murphy was convicted last month of charges, including premeditated attempted murder. Prosecutors say Murphy shot Quincy Carr five times at an East Oakland barbershop last year, leaving the young man confined to a wheelchair. Today, Carr addressed his shooter. You had a gun to, to my head, and I, and I asked you not to shoot me. I begged you not to shoot me. After I was on the ground, you walked over me, and you stood over me, and you shot me two more times. I mean, what kind of, what kind of sense does that make?